Good morning, this is Jacob Folger, artist and sculptor, and today we're going to do something a little bit different. I'm going to show you how to take something that a lot of us use on a regular basis and turn it into a finish for this uh, little minimalist uh, man that I made in another video yesterday. How to make a minimalist man in clay. Please take a look at that video to learn how to make this little guy here. Um, and what we're going to use really is just instant coffee. This is just a cheap um, brand of uh, instant coffee here. And I'm going to show you how to put uh, use it to make a really cool finish. So first we're going to take a spoonful of this, about this much here, and put it into a little vessel or some kind of plastic or anything really. It could be glass, it doesn't matter. Um, into a, into the lid here of this. Uh, this is actually the lid for the coffee. And then I'm going to take just a little bit of water and pour it in just a, a little bit more than enough to get it wet. And I'm going to stir it up. And what I'm doing basically is I'm making a stain. Well, we all know that coffee will stain, right? If you get on your clothes, it'll stain your clothes. If you get on the carpet, it'll stain the carpet. Well, if you put it on a sculpture, it'll stain the sculpture too. So first, we're going to get this mixed up here. And um, artists for years, you know, for centuries, for just as long as artists, artists have been around since the beginning of time, have used things that may seem a little bit strange to make their art. And uh, I actually got this idea from an um, artist friend of mine. Um, and her name is Kathy. And she's an established uh, professional artist um, and um, even illustrates children's books. So she's, she's really been around for a while and she's well established. So we get that mixed up pretty good like that. Then we, the other uh, item we're going to use is uh, Johnson's Paste Wax. It's my favorite uh, paste wax. I use it all the time. Been using it for years. I do endorse it, but I'm not a pay, it's not a paid endorsement in case you're wondering. I'm just saying I, I like this, uh, this Johnson's Paste Wax. Um, we're gonna, before we start putting the coffee on, I'm just going to use the, the wax as a resist to resist some of the coffee so it doesn't just soak right into the sculpture and so I'll, I'll take it a little bit on my fingers like this and I'll swirl it around like that and then I'll just go over the sculpture lightly and keep in mind that the leg this uh, isolated leg here is going to be very fragile so we don't want to break that so just be careful not to uh, press too hard on it when you're putting it on you're just like really lightly you don't want to press hard on it at all maybe support it with your finger like that and we're just gonna basically cover everything that our finger can get not you don't want to brush this on heavy because we want some of the um, some of the stain of the coffee to go into the sculpture but if so, we just want to basically, then then what will happen is the stain will become, or the coffee will become a patina for the sculpture. Um, and it'll, it'll just cover certain parts of it. Let me just try to get a little bit more on here. Oh, by the way, people, I often let people know what time I start my work in the morning. I woke up at 3 this morning and it's now just about 4.30. I like the early morning hours. It's just a good time for me. I tend to be more creative and more interested in doing things at that time than I would be doing otherwise. Okay, so as soon as it's basically on there, um, the next step is to take a paintbrush and it doesn't have to necessarily dry, although you don't want to like rub it really hard or anything. Um, but you take a, the paintbrush, dip it in to the um, stain or the coffee in this case, and just put it on. I 
right? And just work it into all the detail of the piece. As long as it's wet, oops, <laughs> as long as it's wet, it shouldn't, um, you, you wouldn't want to let it dry until you've wiped it off. The next step is to wipe it off. But first we want to get all on there. Be careful of the leg, keep in mind that, that the leg is, uh, I've been dipping it into the wax. Did you see me doing that? I'm sorry. I'm not quite awake yet. <laughs> okay, now I'll just take this little, uh, washcloth and I'll just wipe off the excess. Okay. And then that gives it kind of a patina of the stain on the uh, sculpture and you can go over it again if you like yeah the idea is not to dip keep dipping it in the wax but I wasn't really paying attention and you know I don't rehearse these videos if you haven't figured that out yet um, I'm really uh, I just do it I do it I'm very spontaneous with my videos and uh, I have a lot of people telling me that they really like my videos, so I'm not likely to change that anytime soon. Um, it's just very genuine. This is how I am, this is who I am, and I'm taking what I know and showing it to you guys and, and, and girls. I just did the wash again, can you believe it? Well, I don't think it's a bad thing because it looks great. So I'm just going to go over it a few more times, and that will allow the uh, the patina or the uh, the wax of <laughs> the coffee to be, um, you know, really a nice uh, stain on it, and it will look pretty good, I think. And this will give it kind of when it dries, kind of a bone uh, uh, or almost ivory bone-like uh, finish. It's also inexpensive to do and is very effective. It just looks very nice, I think. So there you go. I come back here and just wipe it off a little bit better in a minute. You can use your fingers, you can use a Kleenex, you can use anything you like almost to wipe it off. And let's set it back up here. So that's how that's done. Now if you want, after you're done with that, and let it dry for a few minutes, you can come back with the wax on your finger, or even on a brush, and seal it, and then wait another uh, 10 minutes or so, and then uh, uh, give it a good buffing. So I'm going to take you through that process here in just a moment. Okay, and now we're going to um, go ahead and coat it in wax here. And um, it's just a light coating. A lot of sculpture that you see, fine art sculpture, whatever, bronzes, they all have a coat of wax on them, and part of the reason why people do that is to seal it and protect it. But also, when it's buffed out, it has a really nice sheen that is just quite beautiful without a lacquery, shiny, sticky look. It's a very uh, attractive uh, finish. I just want to cover the whole thing here. And then we'll come back in just about 10 minutes and it'll be ready to uh, buff out. Okay, the wax has dried uh, pretty much and now we're going to go ahead and give it a nice little buffing. I'm just going to use a soft cloth that, and, and a small piece like this. I want to be able to have control of 
where I'm buffing and so I'll wrap it tight around my finger like that and then I'll just go over it and buff it lightly and remember the isolated leg if you have an isolated leg or an isolated piece that's really skinny like that it's more apt to break off so just be very careful and uh, just buff it lightly like that it depends on the type of material you're going over that you're staining on how it will uh, take the stain and how it will look some pieces look more like ivory and some pe pieces look more like bone and some pieces look more like this this is kind of a cross between the two um, but whatever it is when you're staining with coffee at least it, it helps to have a uh, a uh, porous uh, surface for it to work effectively and to look to look nice not so much for the wax but definitely for the stain so real light over the leg is that leg if you have a leg like that on yours um, this is a based on the video that I did to make this particular sculpture it can, this finish can work on just about any, uh, you know, any kind of sculpture, really, if it's a porous material, plaster, concrete, hydrocal, hydrostone. But you can see, isn't that shine, just, if you can see that, that shine is just beautiful, it's very deep and rich and, but not, not like it's been lacquered. We, we, I wouldn't want a lacquer look on this if it was me. And that's about it. He's very cool. It's a really nice little piece. I hope you'll make one and let me know that you did. And then also that you uh, maybe send me a picture or a photo. Um, you can find to my website my address to uh, mail it or uh, email it. And um, let me know what you're doing. And also let me know what you did with your little minim minimalist man, your mini minimalist man. Um, I have on the on my video a number of places I photographed him in, uh, both on the how-to and also this one here, this video here. So um, get some ideas. It's fun. You know, you can go to some public place and just, <clears throat> uh, you know, put him Put, sit them there somewhere and let people see them and see how they react. But um, it's a lot of fun. Try it out. And again, this is Jacob Folger, artist and sculptor. I share what I do on my videos here. And um, please subscribe to my channel and visit my website at jacobfolger.com. Y'all have a great morning. <laughs>